Hello YouTube, quickly before the video starts, I do stream on Twitch every single day, twitch.tv slash LonelyAlex. The new act comes out today, so I'm very excited to start grinding again. If you guys want to be a part of that, everything will be on my Twitch stream. The support I've been getting over there has been insane. I would like to say thank you guys, um, it really does mean a lot. But today's video is going to be a settings video. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting a updated settings video. The last one I did was like... 10 days ago but i know a lot of you guys have been very interested on what my updated settings are also if you guys ever want my up-to-date settings go to my twitch stream and type explanation point val sense and if you guys are really really interested just go to my twitch stream in my chat everything is there and another thing to point out if you guys want more settings videos please make sure to leave a like can we hit 500 likes this video it would mean a lot and it shows me that you guys actually want more settings videos I'm ending the first ever act on console number four, so it's not that bad. I definitely could have done better, but other than that, let's get straight into the settings. Starting it off on the general tab, I have rotate map with player on. I have all these other settings on off and I have it on always. Minimap size is on one. Minimap zoom is on 0.9. I have keep players centered on. Minimap vision cones on as well. These other settings don't really matter, but for those who are interested, here you guys go. Now, honestly, this doesn't matter the enemy highlight color, but a lot of people do recommend yellow. For me, red is just the default color, so that's what I'm stuck on. But if you do use yellow, uh, it is also not bad, and I do recommend yellow. The controls, I have the preset Valorant. I haven't changed it. I think it's perfect. And there's another thing that I want to tell you guys that I didn't say in any other uh settings video so this is the first time i'm ever doing this but if you press the scoreboard button the button that's you know normally for scoreboard you can get into this menu and there are certain settings that i use for some specific characters so starting off with jet if you click on the jet profile and then you go all the way down to the tab that says jet I have automatic drift on and I have the drift behavior on hold. I'm not sure if this is default, but um, yeah, this is what I have for jet. Now, if you click over to raise, raise also has a, a specific setting. You go on raise, there's a little tab at the end of raise. And this one, I truly do think everyone should have on. And that is the automated back throw. Basically, what this is going to do is when you first throw your satchel, that's where it's going to be. But the second you use another satchel, when you're in the air, it will automatically be below you. So double satcheling is going to be a lot easier. And you're going to be able to have your gun up and looking at the person before you even, you know, throw your second satchel. So I definitely do recommend this, especially if you're on a slower sense. Uh, I think this is very much needed. And that's all I have for the specific settings. Buttons, I have all of these on default. My aiming settings, the main part of the video, I have the 10.6 base horizontal and then 10 on vertical. My focus is 6.4 on both. Same with ADS and sniper, all on 6.4. If you guys are wondering how to change it like this, if you guys hold A for a while, uh, you will be able to, you know, turn it by one point instead of like the whole number. I have prioritized focus and I have both of my behaviors on hold. I have invert vertical aim off. I have aim inner dead zone on 0.09 and my outer is on one. And then for my curves, I have the base aim curve on extreme. And then all my other curves are on light. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking for my elite controller settings. If you are on PlayStation, just completely skip over this part. This does not matter. But for those who actually use the Elite and want like every single setting I have, uh, here you guys go. Before I get into the actual controller settings, I have my tensions all the way low and the trigger stops to the, like, the complete max. I use three paddles. The only one I don't use is my bottom right paddle. So all these paddles you see here, every single one is correct except for this one. My left stick is on default. My right stick is on default. My triggers are uh, at this setting. Um, I just find this the most consistent. Vibration completely off. This does not matter. And then I have my color on red. Now for my movement settings, I have crush behavior on hold. I think having it on hold is a lot better than toggle. Because the reason for this is when you have it on toggle, when you do crouch spray, 
uh you have to click two inputs and it is really bad because in the middle of a gunfight you're gonna forget about that or controller is gonna like you know sometimes it like crouches or uncrouches like very inconsistent having it on hold is you crouch you let go of it you're not crouching it's as good as it can get it's really perfect for me um of course if you're good on toggle it is good as well but personally i think holding is going to be a lot more consistent walk slash run threshold i have it on 0.8 you can have it on 0.5 i know a lot of decent players use it on 0.5 but uh for me i think i run too often like accidentally so i use it on 0.8 also if you like really high ones you can also use that any of these are going to work for you default movement mode i have it on run and my movement dead zone on 0.35 now you don't have to have it on a super high dead zone like i do uh, I personally like the high dead zone because I know when I'm going to move, basically. Like, I feel like on point like 2 or point 0.25, there would be some times where I'm moving when I'm not meaning to move. And I think maybe it's because of my stick drift, but it's just also, it's easier to stop. It's easier to go. Like, it is just perfect for me. Point 0.3, I think if you like like in the middle i think 0.3 is perfect but for me 0.35 has been working so that's what i'm going to be running now for the advanced tab the only things i do have changed on this is fast melee equip you can have this off on it doesn't really matter personally for me i like to have it on left and right trigger dead zone i have it on 0.01 and then i have walk one walk, focus off this setting i think is the biggest setting to have turned off this will quite literally make or break a player Basically, what walk, while, and focus does is limits your movement. So you cannot, you can't like run. It's really bad. Because when you're focusing, usually you're going to be in long range gunfights. And that is when you want to move the most. And you can't really do that when you have this setting on. You're kind of just forced to walk. And anything that limits your movement is not going to be a good setting. So if you have it on, I promise you, you will be a lot better if you just turn it off and get used to it. This is quite literally the worst setting to have on. Dampening shooting sensitivity. This is kind of the same thing as walk one focus, but instead of walking, it's shooting. Basically slows down your sensitivity when you're spraying your gun. And it's really bad in my personal opinion because it kind of limits you to like spray transfer or even just like adjust your spray if like the person is moving. It just it slows your sense too much in my opinion. And I think that if you could get good with this off, it's going to be the same as it on. So it, there's really no point to have it on. Vibration, I have it off. If you play with it, that's fine. But personally for me, it distracts me. My crosshair, I did make a full on crosshair video. So if you guys want to go check that out, it, it is on my channel. But I will show you guys the crosshair that I'm using right now. These are the settings for my crosshair that I'm using. For the stats, I have text only on client FPS, and then my shooting error is graph only. My audio, uh, if you guys want to copy this, this is what it is. You guys don't have to. All these settings don't really matter, but if you guys are interested, these are what my voice settings are. And that is all my settings for the new act. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, the rest of the video is going to be clips that I got on stream in ranked. So hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It means a lot. We're almost going to hit 50k, which is crazy. We are growing so fast. Kind of insane how fast we're growing. The support you guys have been showing me on my Valorant videos and my Valorant content has been crazy. Like, I've never imagined it would ever get this big. So thank you guys. Um, But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, And enjoy the rest of the clips. Multiple enemies remain. Two there. Yeah. Stay down. Oh, wait, stay. Oh, yeah, walk me, walk me, walk me, walk me, walk me, walk, walk, walk. Let me smoke your um market. Oh. Let me smoke market. He has a strip here. He has a strip here. Okay. Yeah. So he puts his strip. I'm right, smoking market. I'm smoking. Oh, I can market. I can use my wingman. Ready? Break it, break it. Ready? Ready? Okay. Guess that one. Eyes down. down. Enemy remaining. God. So 
Ultimate ready. Shield going out. You still have a I don't know what I'm doing, but it's working. The hunt begins. For a minute. I have a trick to spike. That bro is typing. One platform. Rain of rain of platform. Rain of platform. One's pushing out elbow. Yep, yep, I right see you. You're better than me. It's you and me. And then, uh, I'm gonna get yoinked. That's unfortunate. One enemy remaining. Ooh. My kill, my kill, my kill. Don't worry, guys. I got the plan.